Hey guys, thanks for stopping by just checking out what I've been up to with collecting. Uh, this is book update 20, I believe. So yeah, boom, boom. Long, long journey. But yeah, finally hit uh, update 20. Um, I don't know how many of these updates will be. Um, I do have quite the wish list, but anyway, enough rambling. Uh, first up is a uh, pre-order, Aesthetic Deviations. Uh, it's definitely excited to jump on this when I heard about the news on this one. It's um, a critical view of American shot on video horror from 1994. I mean, excuse me, 1984 through 1994. So really cool. As you can see, you've got some love for Ozone, Savage Harvest, which is awesome. Another amazing movie, uh, The Dead Next Door. Don't recognize that one. The name on that one's on the tip of my tongue, but I don't remember. Black Devil Doll, I believe. Another indie from Chester Turner, if I'm saying his name right, that director. So really cool. Uh, yeah, I had to get this. Um, just loaded with, like, a lot of movies I'm familiar with and a few that I have still yet to see that I'm not familiar with. So... Yeah, I had to jump on this book. Just got released not too long ago. The Dummy. I have that one. That one's uh, pretty funny. In a good way. Oh, yeah. Really stinking cool. Try not to get too much of a rush in this video. All time classic. Dead Next Door. So, yeah. I had to jump on this book. So yeah, aesthetic deviations. If I'm saying that right. Yeah, aesthetic deviations. Yeah, pretty cool. By Vincent Al 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 Baran Al Barano. I don't know. I have such a hard time saying that, but yeah. So I don't know if you guys can see the back of that. Yeah, that's one book. Add them to the collection. Looking forward to diving in that. Uh, next is, um, kind of going out of order. I think it's just from biggest to smallest, really. Um, Jack-O-Lantern. The Strange History of the Halloween Pumpkin. Uh, from a, what? From ancient times to the present. It's kind of hard reading backwards. Yeah, look like a fun read. Another one off the want list. This one's been out for a long minute. Loaded with some uh, photos. Classic stuff. All through history. Of the jack-o'-lantern. I'll just put this in my miscellaneous um, section. So I don't know how the whole jack-o'-lantern thing got started, so this book really interested me. And I want to read up on it. I think there's a few other books on the same subject, but if I'm being brutally honest, the cover art to this one really drew me in. I like that. So there's a lot of good reviews out there for this book, so yeah, I'll check it out. So yeah, cool. Jack-o'-lantern. Uh, yeah, the strange history of Halloween, of the Halloween pumpkin from ancient times to present. By, I, mean, I have a bad habit of not ever saying the author's name, by David Accord. Author of Graveyard Groove, The Haunted History of Monster Music. Might have to check that book out too. I don't know, this uh, rabbit hole that I'm in is uh, pretty dangerous. So that sounds like another fun book to check out at some point might have to get me another bookshelf <laughs> here a little bit i still got plenty of room but uh just so many good books out there uh interesting stuff this one i've uh, been out this is one that's been out for an, uh, another one's been out for a long minute the horror the horror a film fanatics obsession with cinema of the macabre by dennis dennis daniel
Put out by D a Deep Red book. I have a few of those in this series by Deep Red. It's some fun pictures in there. Nightmare Castle Zombie. Nosferatu. And what's the other one? Oh, Lady Frankenstein. Another good movie. Look at that. Good stuff. I look like Burial Ground, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's Burial Ground. There's no mistake in those zombies. Um, Burial Ground. Yeah, loaded. I had to jump on this book. Let's see, Hag. Uh, I'm not sure which movie that is. Three from Hell. I have yet to see Three from Hell, is that? Mixed reviews on that one. There's always mixed reviews on zombies, uh, Rob Zombies movies, but I have yet to see Three from Hell. I know. I'm always behind on some of this stuff. But yeah, this book looks uh, looks pretty cool. I'll check it out. I know it's going to be cool. But yeah, it's, uh, it's going to take me a minute to absorb all that. And yes, I do read my books. I had somebody ask me, you ever read other? I mean, yeah, I do. Of course I do. Um, especially when I went on family vacation not too long ago I took a few with me and was able to finish off three of the books that I've had for several months anyway I'm rambling here's another one knocked off the old want list so that's that ah regional another one finally off my want list regional horror films from 1958 all the way through 1990 um, found a good price on this one through eBay uh, so glad I knocked this one off the off my off the hunt. So a state by state guide with interviews from the directors. Brian Albright responsible for this one, and possibly others who helped make this become a reality. Here's the back synopsis here. Pretty cool. I'm pretty much familiar with most of these movies, but I still want to read about them, especially all the little interviews and whatnot. That's why you get this book. Instead of having to hunt for stuff like that online. I love me some pictures here and there. Oh, Island Claws. I didn't realize that was a, a little uh, part of the region. Or, I mean, I didn't, not that I ever looked into the movie, but I don't know. It's interesting. You'll be surprised to know how many movies are considered regional horror films, which basically movies that weren't made in Hollywood, I guess you'd say. But cool. Another one of those books. Finally glad to add into the uh, cinema horror, specifically uh, cinema collection. That's that. And then got that, thanks to watching The Pope's Exorcist, I wanted to get another book on demons, and this one's really, it's like a scholarly level kind of book. It lists so many, it's all business too, like all business, all serious stuff here. <laughs> it's crazy, 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 crazy scholarly stuff here. Uh, a list of so many names of demons and from so many multiple upon, yeah, multiple religions. Well, I had to grab this, the Encyclopedia of Demons and World Religions and Cultures. Teresa Bain. Or Teresa Bain. Got a, there's another one I got. It's not in perfect shape. I probably, hence why I got such a good deal on this one. I think it came shipped. It kind of shipped in like a not so good protective envelope. It's no B. Not a big deal. It's not ripped or anything. So cool. Check that out. It's going to be fascinating stuff. If ever I watch a movie and a, a name of a demon pops up, I'll, I'll grab this and uh, see if it's in there and read more about it. So, love the cover. It's beautiful. So, that's a big one. That is a big one. And this one is just one of those good coffee table... Fun, yeah, fun coffee table books. 
um, heavenly bodies, cult treasures, and spectac spectacular saints from the catacombs. Some more books on death. Celebrating death with this one. That's pretty wild stuff. Beautiful book. Beautifully put together. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful dust jacket. What does it look like without it? I don't remember. Uh, it's got like a uh, neat little logo. And it does have the, um, which some of them don't, but it does have the um, title of the book on the spine. So that's nice. So if something were to ever happen to this dust jacket, at least, at least you know what the book is just by looking at the spine of it. I think, and I've noticed some of the older books, they don't, they don't, there's nothing, there's nothing on it. So pretty cool. I'll flip through here as best I can. Um, show you guys, um. Some beautiful, interesting stuff here. Um, check that out. Just looks like that would be somewhere in India. I don't have to read up on it. But that is crazy. This book is loaded with images like this. Um, look at that. <clears throat> Check this out. Absolutely crazy. Fascinating. Fascinating. So yeah. Um, Heavenly bodies. Cult tre yeah, cult treasures and spectacular saints from the catacombs. Paris, France, catacombs, stuff like that. So I didn't know they went this far with the corpses of priests and whatnot. Um so yeah. Pretty cool. Another one I got I got a good deal on this one as well. So some of these I just go through eBay, Hamilton Books. It's not all Amazon. So just wherever I can find best prices at. That's that. Another book I'll just uh, put in the miscellaneous section. I kind of I keep all my cinema books just in the movie library, movie room, and my miscellaneous books I just kind of I, I keep those in with like horror horror comic stuff. So mix those in. Um, Finally, completing this series of the Chilling Archives of Horror Comics from uh, Yo Books. These are the last two I needed. So my series of these books are now completed. I have all 25 or 26 of them, something like that. Plus the three that came out in a different design. They weren't in as nice as these. The three were like... Uh, Swamp Monsters, the yeah, second one was like Mummies, and so anyway, I have those three, which are much smaller books, but considered to be part of this series. Uh, those were much cheaper because they just weren't of this crazy quality. Uh, those were like the last three to come out after these. So I have those three plus, now I have all 25, 26, I forget the exact number, but I have them all. Finally, it has been a long journey. I'm just glad to be done with this hunt. I've enjoyed most, well, I can't say most of these books because I've only read almost half now. So I am getting more and more familiar with these classic uh, uh, horror stories. So, and yeah, these are the last two I needed, which are volume uh, five and six. So. Finally, 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 finally. This one's The Haunted Horror, Volume 1. I have 2 and 3 and on up. And then, uh, yeah, Banned Comics from the 1950s. Finally came across a reasonable price for this one. Uh, so, but hence why it took me so long to get that one. So, really cool stuff. Um, and then the other one that I was missing that I finally got to complete the entire series 
which is the worst of eerie publications. So freaking awesome. Um, beautiful stuff. So I'm slowly getting through all the archive stuff. Archive horror comics. Um, still quite a few on my want list that I want to get. So I'm still building, the, building it up. And this is what I love about all these books. They, right from the beginning, they sort of give you the, the story of how the, the cover to each book came about, the idea of it all. Freaking love that. So, yeah, this series is now complete. I'll do an overview video. I should make an overview video of all these and show you what it all looks like uh, together, at least, you know, how I have it displayed. So, that's these two, volume five and six series now completed always feels good to complete a, it could be anything really for a collector it feels great to finally complete an entire series okay one a big one off my uh want list it's this bad boy here tales of terror the complete compendium of all the incredible old ec comics including tales from the crypt mad i love mad and Weird Science. This book is a absolute treasure. So I want to say I found this for a much reasonable price compared to what it usually goes for. So super late to the party. That's what I get. But at least I came across a seller that wasn't asking for an arm or a leg. So... Just got this in not too long ago. Um, I am scared to try and flip through this for you guys, but I'll try my best. But it is just loaded with pretty much everything. It's, the book doesn't lie. Um, like I said, just got it in. Not too, too familiar with everything in here, but absolutely amazing. Um, Jumping on these archive books is definitely the way to go. Um, pretty cool. Yeah, another big score for my personal collection. Had to get that. Here's the. I'm just showing you guys the spine, but here's the spine on that one. Beautiful condition. So I think it's coming from this guy's personal collection. He was selling off all kinds of interesting and amazing books, but. This is one that I had to jump on. So yeah, Tales of Terror, the complete compendium of all the incredible EC comics, old EC comics. Pretty cool. That's that. And then last, for now, is another big one off my off my want list. And that is, I have been on a night gallery kick. Like, man, I binged, uh, again, binged all the episodes recently. Uh, my favorite all time is still The Cemetery. That's like my number one out of all of them. Um, is the, that episode, The Cemetery, which I grabbed a print and, um, one of those official um, anniversary prints for the cemetery. I have that framed up. I'll show you guys what that looks like framed up at some point. Maybe like in an overview video or something. But ever since I grabbed that print, and I got that off of a seller based out of some business out in California. He was selling those prints along with a few of these books for like a decent price. So I ended up grabbing the print first. Um, binged the episodes and just was like, I was like, I need to get a night, I need to get one of these books. Uh, there's another one too I'd love to get at some point, but I had to get this, um, this specific book here, just sort of celebrating all the paintings that you see in every episode. And it's just one of those freaking must have. This is going to be, it's kind of awkward, but I'll try my best, but it pretty much shows you all those spooky paintings from every episode. Finally glad to get this one in my hand now. So I had to freaking 
amazing stuff. So, got that. Here's the spine for Night Gallery. Is amazing. You gotta love Night Gallery. It's one of my favorites of all time. As far as TV shows, I had to get that book. Huge, amazing, good stuff. This came out. I want to see. 2020 something like that i don't i don't not exactly it's just a couple of years ago so better late than never i've oh, got a got a reasonable like i said i got a reasonable deal on this book so that is the horror book i just say horror book uh horror book uh, collection update uh for now i don't have any sort of witty title i could call these these videos it's just it's just easier to just to call it that, even though it's kind of a miscellaneous sort of just whatever book catches my eye, what I'm in, whatever I, I'm into. But Night Gallery, got that one in, and that's the update for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back for a uh, collection update, or for, uh, yeah, part five on the, as far as what I got on Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K. So thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your time, guys. Um, as always, uh, take care. Later.